Welcome back to Shadows Over Loathing. We are tracking down a very spe specific, particular, I tried to say both at the same time, <laughs> valve. Ugh, I got cat hair in my mouth. You notice a particularly cobweb-strewn copse of trees, and as you near it, you catch a glimpse of a big hole full of spiders in the middle of it. You can just barely read the old wooden sign next to it declaring to the world that the hole belongs to Beppo. Beppo's hole. Check out the terrible spider hole. That sounds so unlikely to take up much time at all that I'm tempted. But I, pr I pretend I didn't find it. Oh, it's really far away. <laughs> this, what do you call it, is huge. Damn. That's amazing, Molly. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> Better keep your peepers peeled, pal. These woods are good for an ambush. We've been over it. Oh, there's a lot of lake water in this pipe. Well, I intend to fish every drop I can out of it. I, I guess I'm starting a brand new fish sack. You find an empty bag nearby. The pinch-faced lagoon carp goes inside. I'm, I, I think that was the right idea to just sell that bag before. I'm not going to miss out on anything by having done that. Just start a new one. The barn trout and Farley's halibut. And there we've caught it all. This pump has a Glaxton valve on it. Well, sweet, I'll just take it. The valve is held in place by decades of corrosion. Even if you could detach it, it'd get wrecked in the process. And we would probably ruin the entire dam, maybe, which seems bad. It has nasty goo coming out of it. Festulent grulch slurp. It's a good onomatopoeia. You've extracted all the valuable slime that the pipe has to offer. This is not a crypto botanist thing, it's just a regular ass flower. A beautiful flower stands in defiance of the reigning in of nature. It smells as good as it looks. Well, I'm glad we stopped to smell it. Maybe next time we'll find a rose. The valve is held in place. Corrosion, yada yada. Hobo code. What, what level is my hobo code at? I'm pretty, like, proud of my ability to just read everything. Level 8. Nice. Hopefully I meet some more hobos to deal with that. The code reads, meat hidden in pipe. Ooh, you reach in the hype, pipe and snag the concealed and congealed wealth. <laughs> and now, it says meat hidden. Well, it's not true anymore. I feel like we ought to change it. Leave this damn thing behind. Deep maintenance access. Another one of those time doors. Let's hope that repeated exposure to these isn't going to give your ancestors cancer. Not even you. It'll go back in time. Extra dangerous. This is during the construction of the dam where they'll have all their valves. Dean Bro's door delivery. A door is being delivered. Climb up and go through. Well, I don't, I don't think I... Does it mean that door? Oh, the door is in the truck. I it looked like it was behind it. Yeah, okay. No, I don't want that. A crate labeled pipe shoes. Huh. This is probably not what they meant to order. <laughs> These don't make any sense. But you're just going to have to roll with it. Helps you get around. Am I going to literally roll around if I wear these? Amazing. Exactly how I wanted that to play out. I guess it stands... Actually, it's really hard to like tell where I'm going. I guess it stands to reason that a structure this big would need more than one truck's worth of concrete. This one is empty. Some careless damn worker has abandoned a toolbox here. Their loss is my gain. Spray on asbestos, piece of scrap, we've seen both of those. This truck is even heavier than a regular truck. Fish into it? Nah, you don't want to get your hook stuck. Hey, Noel said nobody who ain't on the cruise allowed on the site. Noel's a part of this, hey? Yeah, Noel, the foreman, Noel White. Aw, oh, jeez. The man cl cl clutches his stomach. Are you alright? Uh, just starving is all. The rest of the crew went to lunch, but... Somebody had to stay here and keep all the rubberneckers and looky-loos off the site. I drew the short pants. Short pants? Do you mean straw? Nah, we've got these six little pairs of pants we found when we cleaned out a nest of fairies. I see, can I have them? No, because then we'd have no way of picking who stands guard. Oh man, I can't believe how hungry I am. Feels like I'm gonna turn inside out. What about the table over there that says lunch? There's a reason everybody else left the site to eat, pal. You don't want to eat what Noel considers lunch. How bad could it be? Is it jellied eels or something? Man, I'd kill for a jellied eel. 
Noel brings these sandwiches that are just a bunch of peppermint sticks between two big bland sugar cookies. You can get a stomach ache just watching somebody else eat that. Ugh. That sounds awful. That's because it is awful. He clutches his stomach and moans. I'll offer the poor guy something to eat. I should give him something insane like a shadow hot dog. Or just a, a handful of cream cheese. I did buy all those sardines, like way too many sardines, and apparently I only ever needed one, so he can have one of those. Oh, wow, thank you. He greedily devours it. His stomach is still growling. Do you want more sardines? Oh, thanks, but I already had one of those. I can only eat one of a given thing each day. Doctor's orders. <laughs> well, then... Shit, man, I guess I have lots of these baked rolls, I think. Aw, oh, thank you. He devours it and looks a little less hungry and a little more relaxed. Um, I... I guess maybe I only had one of those. Could... could very well be. I... will give you a handful of cream cheese? Surely three is enough. If you had to describe his current mood, you'd say he's 60% sleepy and 40% hungry. Oh, so he needs two more things? I didn't expect him to eat so much. This was the, the wrong way to go about this, I think, but now a uh, sunk cost, I have to stick with it. Iron Pumpernickel, he's almost asleep, but still looks a little bit hungry. Greedy, greedy man, Glockenbrot. He devours it. Finally satiated, he slumps to the ground and falls fast asleep. I should have just, I should have just beat him up. <laughs> this guy's in a well-deserved food coma. The sign says lunch, but what's on the table isn't identifiable as anything you'd want to eat. Oh, look at that wonderful forest that's all going to get knocked down. Claxman screws. This brick outhouse is extremely well constructed. Well, I'm, I'm happy for it. Uh, what were those, those Grafton nuts? Daxton shafts, Waxman discs, Braxton cords, Frampton picks, like Peter Frampton. That's really funny. The guitarist, Claxton valves. And there, there's only one left. Woohoo! <laughs> Brand new 11 year old Claxton valve. We can go check on the outhouse. I don't know why we want to go inside, but sure. The taps don't work, but there's still a bunch of water pooled in the basin. Maybe there will be something worthwhile in here. Handful of water. Surprise! You should leave the rest for people who need to use this room for its intended purpose. A workman-like toilet for workman-like workmen. Hooray! 20 experience. Man, you really get a lot of experience for those flushes. I'm a ways away from taking the next step up. Not that I've really decided which one I, I do want to build towards. Oh, no, there was one. There was one... Besides Gouda, the green hand, two times materials from gathering, maybe. I, I honestly don't think I would get that much use out of it. With the, the current trajectory of finding things, I don't think I would, or how often I use the things I find. It's good that they're building a dam. It'd be a shame if future generations got to enjoy this beautiful forest. I It is an eyesore. They are quite disgusting. Actually, back there, the smell of pine, just atrocious. Who could ever love it? Back we go. And just straight back to the lighthouse. Yes. Someone, ooh, the other side of things. Set up a little lakeside refreshment stand here. Although, from its abandoned state, it doesn't look like there's been much refreshing going on in a while. Also, depending on when you get this random encounter, it might not be particularly near the lake. Maybe that's why. There's a meat-operated red cola cooler here, which still looks like it's in working order. Check the slot that time. Five meat, woohoo, and buy a soda. Turn the crank, get your prize. It's a shame the war prompted them to put the cans in tin instead of glass. Everything about it is the same. A can of red cola, drink it for your country, urges the label to raise your max HP. Well, I think we have settled up all of that. I have your damn valve. Did you install it? No, I have it right here. Well, won't do as much good in your hands like that. Go hook it up to the pump outside. Well, you are the keeper, man. I kind of thought maybe you would keep things maintained, as is part of your job description. Funky pump contraption. Fortunately, the place where it slots in is very clearly labeled. 
Well, damn, we are in some rootin' tootin' good luck. I don't know. I uh, in installed the valve. Uh, yeah, I've been watching the water level through the window here. Should be dry enough for our purposes now. Come on upstairs. He disappears through the door behind him. Uh, okay, I guess we'll, we get to go hang. Have a fun old time in the lighthouse. Hmm. Most lighthouses have a somewhat bigger lamp. <laughs> it's it's just like a regular living room lamp. <laughs> well, here we are. Welcome to where the magic happens. Magic? Sure. Fiat Lux. <laughs> old lighthouse keeper joke. But I'm guessing Lux is like light. Fiat, I'm less certain about it. Let there be light. Maybe it means something like that. So, can I have the compass now? What? No, certainly not. I need that. But, you asked if I had an old compass, and I said I did, and that I'd show it to you. Never said nothing about giving it to you. Oh, well, I really need it. So do I. I gotta calibrate this lamp to the North Star every so often, and I need a good compass to show me which one is the North one. What if I get you a new one? Nope, I said a good one. The new ones ain't any use at all. We gotta go back in time again? Why not? Because of how they changed him. What? What changed in compasses? They didn't teach you that in school? Folks got short memories. It was only round about the turn of the century. Some Atlas company bought the patent and Westinon rebranded it as New North. Then, they did a recall on all the compasses and issued new ones. They all point west now, and they're useless for my purposes. Okay, west is new north. Well, how about I find you another old one then? If you can find another pre-new north compass, it at least in at least in as good of condition as mine, then sure, I'll swap you. Don't really get what the point of that would be though, since you'd already have one. Well, it's a long story. Never mind then, don't give a shit at all. <laughs> Keep it to yourself. Here, maybe this'll help you. Most of the old compasses got radium paint on the dials so you can read them at night. This old Geiger counter ought to be able to pick up the radiation from that. The newest innovation of the Hey Really Company. This device allows you to detect radiation by making an annoying clicking noise whenever any is nearby. It is a little annoying, isn't it? Where should I start? Well, most folks consider the old kind of compass to be trash nowadays, and if I was trash, I'd probably be at the old junkyard. Well, neat, thanks. I guess that's somewhere. A box of spare 60 watt light bulbs. You only use 60 watts? Don't need much. Ain't that big a lake. <laughs> I guess that's the difference, is it's a lake instead of a proper shore. An empty and wet bookshelf. Good thing he had his book downstairs, his <laughs> singular book. Well, I guess the junkyard is where we're heading next. You actually, like, follow actual trails when you navigate the map. Ah, oh, nuts. Hold the line. I stepped in some kind of weird mushrooms. Spores all over my good dancing shoes for crying out loud. Dancing is in actual dancing or is in a back alley shootout? Why do I want a different pair for each? They ain't that dissimilar. She wipes the spores off her high heels with a leaf and hands it to you as though you'll know what to do with it. Fragrant spores, a potion, a handful of mushroom spores with visible aroma lines wafting off of them. So it would just be like really a bunch of really squiggly looking exclamation points. Increase mysticality by one and damage of magical attacks by three. Pretty dang good actually. Uh, what do I currently have from a potion? Uh, nearly, nearly that, but slightly worse. Wow, it sure does suck around here. Need a breath of fresh air. You got anything you want to say about this? Let's ankle. My chopper's got to stretch its legs. Bunch of stuff about spideys. A heated fishing rod that cooks the trash from the inside. You got the hot rod. <laughs> a trash is left medium rare, but a connoisseur would eat it well done. The rod is almost too hot to handle. Deals mysticality plus two. What does my guy do? Mysticality plus three. I mean, it's not sharpened yet or anything. Like, I could improve it, but its starting point is no better. What is the clicking? Oh, it's the Geiger counter, of course. 
Oh, hey, there's something shiny in this pile. The grindstone ring. This ring makes you want to punch somebody in the hopes that doing so will make the ring less uncomfortable. Almost all your random encounters will be fights. I don't need to do that much fighting, not currently. This pile of trash must be especially appealing to flies. Just like extra trashy then? Sorry, flies, I just don't believe you have very good taste. This radio must be solar powered or trash powered. This pile of trash smells much worse than the other piles. Here we go, now we're talking. Stench armor, please. Cola mask on. And now, oh, I still, I still, <laughs> I guess I didn't have anything else. Elemental stench and the accessory. Now, dig through it. Congratulations, it's the worst pair of pants you could have ever imagined. Yay, trash soaked pants. Wearing these pants makes you wish you could afford better pants. Get more meat drops. I am definitely set. I definitely have enough. So I'm going to leave it at that. Man, I I don't know. Do I wait? Do I wait till I have the chance to replace this thing? I will attach it. Add the comfy lining. Dramatically increasing the comfort of your hat. Ah. You know, I'll replace it someday. I think I can just go buy another one of those linings, so I'm not too worried about it. The locket. Oh, did I have the locket on for, like, a specific reason? But I don't actually... I want the cuffs. I want the cuffs back on. Oh, the the pocket watch is what I was seeing. The, the similar little icon. Vaguely similar. Do you having a, a good time back there, man? It seems like you could use a hand. This hobo is trying to wrestle a stove out of a pile of trash. Well, I'll help you if you teach me a bit of hobo code. Howdy, I'm Beanie. Hi, Beanie, I'm Grammy. Nice chef's hat. What are you up to? I'm trying to get the stove so as I can haul it back to our hobo camp outside of Ocean City. Oh, you know about the camp? Yep, I'll be cooking up a mess of beans once I get this stove back there, let me tell ya. Ask him about hobo code, please. Ah, uh, sure, heck, I know about a dozen different symbols for beans. Wouldn't one be enough? They all look pretty similar now that you mention it. Uh, I'm up to nine, I believe, in hobo code. At this point, with 133 unspent experience and one away from having the muscle I need, I think I will just buy subcutaneous Gouda and I'll help this guy out. With a sordid grunting and heaving, the two of you managed to yank the snow stove free. It was kind of like I only spent 60 on that upgrade. I just like immediately got experience back. Phew, thanks a million, pal. Now I just gotta drag this back to camp and I'll be in beansness. Ha! <laughs> See you around, beanie. I mean, I'm sure that'll be a much easier thing to haul it all the way back to the city rather than move it about an inch here at the dump. He he'll be fine. It seems like all the wettest, slimiest trash has been sorted into this pile. My sleaze is currently at one. Let's see where I could get that up to. Hopefully without needing to do much. Ah, potion, potion, food, and accessory. Well, shoot. Could I add sleaze armor to my pants? Is that something I have? I already have added? Yeah, that's where my one is coming from, is from there actually. Hats, I, I don't I don't have a different kind of liner actually to put on. Let me check this one more time. Just just I would have to I would have to use something. This potion is very lame. Everything I have there's also food. I do have food. Let's see. The, the doughy boy, that's all I have. That's that's fine. I can overwrite that, no problem. I, I'm not too concerned with that at all, actually. So let's let's replace doughy boy and get fish oiled. You open the can with the conveniently attached key and chow down on the oily little fishes. Nobody better try to feed you any oil because your tank is full. Search. You grab a nasty old spoon from the pile and use it to dig through the gloop. You don't find anything, so you just keep the spoon. I don't know why you would keep that spoon, but you did. Hopefully it's maybe it'll be better than my tongs. 
From the looks of it, this spoon has been used to eat a whole lot of unspeakable chowders. Deals mysticality plus three sleeves. Whereas right now, mysticality plus three hot. I sharpening things gives it one bonus. All right, nasty spoon. We're we're moving on up in the world here. Look at all our fishing rods. I don't think I would need all of them, but I, I kind of am planning to keep them anyways. We will sharpen our nasty spoon. That just makes me think of the Simpsons with like the, the chili cook off. Oh, I heard he carved it himself out of a bigger spoon. <laughs> Currently wielding nasty spoon, sharpen it. Sharpen nasty spoon, a spoon like a razor's edge. Mysticality plus four. Pretty good. It's just an upgrade of one, but that's literally the exact thing I was holding out for. S uh, so the the thing is just most definitely going to be in here. The opening leads to an underground labyrinth of filth. Unfortunately, your Geiger counter is ticking faintly, so you're probably going to have to go in there. I hope you aren't wearing your favorite anything. Enter. It turns out this garbage dump is much deeper and older than it initially appeared. Huge rooms and tunnels have been carved out of the trash, like the worst archaeological dig imaginable. And just to make a bad scene even worse, it looks like a whole gang of those horrible little fairies have made a home in here. Ugh. Stinky little weirdos, weird little stinkers. There's an ironically half-buried shovel here. Take it. This device is called the shovel because of the way it shoves dirt out of the way and the fact that the guy who named it liked the letter L. What a simple explanation. There are a lot of fairies in that direction, flitting around, giggling maniacally, and occasionally saying things in other people's voices that you can only assume were those people's last words. That's like the, the scare bear or whatever, like, I, there was multiple names for it in Annihilation. Highly recommend that movie, by the way, but there's a freaky bear in there that people who have seen the movie are going to know what I'm talking about. And that's what I think of there. There's a lot of fairies. There's a lot in either direction then. Frolicking around and making animal noises. Dying animal noises. Well, that's just so fully messed up. Oh, God. Well, they have like little Princess Leia buttons on the side there. The Exploder, it intends to explode. It only deals one damage. It's not that big a deal. The Mushling intends to crash into Nerdle. The Mush Tender conjures Mushlings. The Needler, the Wackadoo, and the Gunmother. Well, I guess I'm most concerned with the Mush Tender 21. That's insane. That's ridiculous. Ooh. Let's just do this for funsies and just kind of see who all ends up getting caught up in the crossfire there. And then I'm going to I'm going to get rid of the the waggle waggle the spoon, get rid of the mush tender. The I I guess there's no sound effects when you're playing with the dialed up speed of battles. It's kind of a little bit weird without it, honestly. I wish they still like did fit it in. I still only do five with that, right? Oh, well, I can, I can put down one of you. Nerdle, you gonna hop in here, get involved? You know, fight back? Six, 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 look at that. Look at that turtle, unstoppable. You won! Your reward is getting to explore it further into a literal garbage tunnel. Oh, okay, don't pout. You can have some loot, too. Fairy cake, which is a real name for a thing. To a fairy, this is a huge birthday cake. To you, it's a grisly reminder that you killed a fairy on its birthday. Increase mysticality by one and the damage of your magical weapons by two. I'm just going to eat that cake right now. Probably I'll find more of it. And fish oil is not something I really feel that I, I need long term. Caked with magic. This little cake had some big magic in it, but it's wholly delicious. Oh my god, this labyrinth appears to potentially, like, really open up. Well, let's see. We'll keep going. Maybe it's not that crazy. I thought it was going to keep going, but there was kind of a wall, like, almost immediately there. So let me just blow through these ones as well. Why? I wasn't prepared for so many to have turns. The, the twig thumper... Ooh, nine damage. Actually, like, a, a fair amount there. No mush mush things or anything to worry about there. Uh, let's just do the splattering again. It was kind of fun. <laughs> and now let's see. Who's who's ready to be just totally killed? Wow, I wish 
I wish I could spread that 23 damage around rather than just blasting it straight at one, <laughs> one unit. The one! With those fairies out of the way, you can get to the northern tunnel. Wait, is that north? The leftern tunnel. The music here is ever so slightly like the fairy fountains in The Legend of Zelda, like just enough for me to think it was intentional. An accessory, the fairy charm, what fairies lack in charm, they make up for in, well, I was gonna say skill at making jewelry, but this thing is honestly pretty crappy. Ooh, plus three magical attacks and a fairy knife. This knife is too small for you to get a good grip on with your big clumsy human hands. Just stab with a little, little pinch of the fingers there. I think that'll be better than my my actual accessory, current accessory, which is the cufflinks. Oh, mysticality. Whereas this is to the attacks. I have a lot of mysticality. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just go with that. Well, why not? Sure, give it a give it a shot. Mm, can't explore the corners. Ooh, there's a loose coat hanger on the ground here. Oh yeah, okay, just like right there. Glad I go combed around the outside perimeter like that. Hey, hobo code hidden down there. Translate, well shit. Uh, it says, what is junk really? I think I think I just got maybe some like, um, what, what am I trying to say, experience out of that? I, I clicked through it. This room is positively swarming with fairies. There must be something pretty good over there, or at least something that fairies think is pretty good, which is an opinion you might or might not share. Plow through them. There sure is a lot of them here. I feel as though I should exercise some level of, of caution and be prepared for the worst here. But at the same time, I think it's probably fine. <laughs> I'm going to deal with that one. There was a mush tender that I don't want summoning things. That's basically how I'm choosing to set those priorities. Wow, that was a, a surprising amount of damage to get dealt out there. That's uh, there's a mildly concerning. Nerdle, you better back me up, man. Don't worry about just healing yourself all the damn time. Give me some of that love, will ya? I wonder if in that case I would have been better off hitting everyone. Nine. Oh, don't, don't go kill a Nerdle. I won't allow it. I don't know if someone else might actually still be targeting him. Yeah, they were. Well, that's a, sh a damn shame, I tells ya. <laughs> I almost had to worry about that battle. <laughs> wow, now it's time to see what the hoopla was all about. A charm and a cake. Oh, I'm gonna have so many of those charms. M many, many more than I need. Oh god, there's a lot going down here, isn't there? Somebody's thrown away a perfectly good giant novelty piggy bank. Smash it! Sorry, piggy. Hey, whoever threw this out didn't take their meat out first. 240 meat. Step through the shadow rift. I get to be a weird little robot with punching arms for some reason. Oh god, are me and this thing gonna fight? Part of the nothingness is missing here. Can I, do I just have to sneak past you? Wait for him to wind up and then just blitz it? Uh, there's a bunch of cars and things. What is this weird ass robo battle? Why, why is there, why are there battle bots down here? <laughs> I suppose we'll come back to that, because it didn't seem like there was anything I could do right away. I'm beyond intrigued. Ah, just more fairies, a whole flock here, all armed with rusty needles. It almost seems like they're practicing their fencing skills, but their fighting style is so chaotic it's hard to tell. Fight the flock. Yeah, they're literally all that exact kind. Uh, I'm going to splatter them, because they don't really have that much health. And that'll kind of help me just get through them. I, they might do a fair amount of damage here. But I'll, I'll survive. Well, that worked out swimmingly, I'd say. Perfect, perfect spread. Very pleased. A fairy skull wand. A magical weapon? This tiny wand is tipped with a fairy skull, which is like a human skull, except it's only about an inch in diameter. It's kind of cute, almost. Mysticality plus spooky damage. Which, I mean, I already have the spoon that I sharpened, so I'll stick with it. It's wearing. It's wearing quickly, though. Like, notably quickly. Maybe it started partially worn? Is this a cat? 
A foot! Oh, it's a foot from a big statue. That's how far you are away from this and what it is. Oh, a foot. You're a foot away from it. Gotcha. That took me far too long. A teetering stack of crates is holding up part of the ceiling here. Well, I would just bring down the whole thing then, I think. Ooh, as a staircase? A, the trash collapsed into an unsafe staircase-like heap. That was extremely lucky. Yeah, very, very notably, very much so. Um, oh my god, we're in a whole other part of the, the junk pile now? Or is this... It is the same. I just popped out in a different location? What good is that? Why? The tunnel leading back down into the miserable trash warren. It's not that big of a maze. There's not that many places to go. Is this really necessary? <laughs> All right, where is the clicking most? Oh, there's a door this way. Okay, this is where things might start getting tricky. That's not one of the buffalo skulls from West of Loathing, is it? Holy dang, somebody threw away a perfectly good cow skull. These are rare as heck, considering that there haven't been any cows in this country for more than 30 years. A uh, mounted cow skull. It's always hard to tell whether one of these is part of a normal cow somebody killed for sport or the entirety of a horrible floating cow skull somebody killed in self-defense. It's totally a thing from West of Loathing. This would look great in your room. That is absolutely where I'll put it. The Geiger counter is really going nuts. This must be the spot. Just beneath the surface, you your shovel strikes the top of a crate. The Geiger counter continues its irritating clickery. Stomp through the crate lid. It's aggressive. You give the top of the old crate a mighty stomp and end up ankle deep in compasses. It's better than being ass deep in comp ankles. <laughs> That's what you always say. That's wonderful bit of word flippery. Anyway, enough jokes. You grab the least ruined looking compass after we've put our foot through all of them. This is a compass from back before they changed which way is north. You also breathe a sigh of relief as you turn off that annoying Geiger counter. Wait, was West being New North a West of Loathing thing? There's there's a real chance that that's a throwback joke. Now back to the lighthouse. And there's a hole in the ground? Oh, that's that's the literal hole I dug. For some reason, I thought I was digging in the, the wall there. Now to just double check, there are other whole uh, doors in this direction. Oh no, there is, but there, it's, there isn't. <laughs> it's not new, it's not different. But, there's something this way, oh, that's how I get out. So that means this isn't the way down, this is totally new, I almost missed this. The wall of trash is riddled with fairy tunnels. There, yeah, there's quite a few of them. Ooh, Moxie. Ringing this bell would certainly stir up some angry fairies. Oh, I wonder if this is one of those like infinite battles where you can just kind of keep ringing up fairies for the sake of experience. I'll mess around with it a little bit and see what kind of trouble I stir up. Wooden handle, terrible fairies. Yeah, I think this is just a way to, to gain experience. Maybe they'll get marginally harder the more I do, but even that's... <laughs> Seeming a little unlikely currently. <laughs> I, I'm going to end up with all these wands and things. And I guess I could just sell as many of those as I want. I'm, I'm going to go through like, I don't know, five of these or something. And see if I feel like I'm actually progressing uh, in any way. Building towards anything. Gaining more interesting rewards the deeper in we get. That's, that's kind of what I have in mind here. I guess there were probably more strategic things I could have killed first, but at this exact moment, eh, <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. Lots of cake, so much fairy cake. You've cleared out the fairies, at least for now. There will probably be more if you come back tomorrow, if you want that for some inexplicable reason. This tunnel is big enough to accommodate you if you can muster the flexibility, and assuming you're neither claustrophobic nor germophobic. I'm one moxie away, I'm only a few experience away from raising my moxie, and so I think I'm actually gonna take advantage of that. I'm gonna do a wander, hopefully find like a fight. You see a familiar looking person heading towards you on the path. As they get nearer, you realize that the reason he looks so familiar is because he looks exactly like you. Turn around and leave. <laughs> Yeah, things are entirely weird enough around here without getting into whatever's going on here. Oh, was it us from like 11 years ago with time travel -y nonsense going on? You see a faded billboard advertising some kind of crystal shop. Crystal's Crystal Dream Valley Crystal Shop. Keep on wandering. 
what I mostly want is just like a fight. An oddly rectangular brown rock catches your attention, and on closer inspection it turns out to be a completely rusted and partially sunk into the ground old pre-war soda cooler, although someone fitted a meat-operated lock onto the door at some point. Due to the rust, you can't tell what brand it was, heck, you can't even tell if there's any sodas still in it. Check the meat return. <laughs> No way, the only thing you'd be likely to get out of that old rust hole would be tetanus. Buy a soda, maybe. You force some meat into the slot and grind the crank around until the door grudgingly unlocks. Inside you find a raccoon skeleton and one extremely old can of soda. This can of cola is so old and rusty that you can't even tell whether it's red or blue. Ah, uh, the world is healing. Or maybe some kind of horrible brown cola you've never heard of before. Deals 15 damage. Well, we've really compiled a lot in our cola stash here. A squirrel chatters angrily at you from nearby hollow tree, presumably trying to scare you away from its stash, a real tactical mistake on its part since now you know where its stash is. It scampers away as you peer into the hole. You find not just the expected nuts, but also several wallets? Huh, has this squirrel been mugging hikers? Maybe you should get out of here before it comes back with a knife. Only nine meat though, and no experience for crying out loud. Check the slot, and I'll continue on my way. I don't want more, I don't need more cola, it's too many. As you're walking down a dirt road towards your destination, you catch a whiff of dog food. You turn your head towards the source, which turns out to be a pet store. Ignore the store! This is too much going on here. I, I am swapping out my rings. Because I'm trying to grind. Oh, because you're grinding. Because you're grinding for experience. Grind out the grindstone. There we go. Uh, in a thickly overgrown and essentially sunless part of the woods, you happen across two large and burly vampires. They seem pretty ticked off. They're growling menacingly, shoving each other around and so forth. Some kind of spooky territory dispute? Or maybe one of them drank a tourist that the other one was saving for a special occasion? occasion? The, the nature of their argument is unclear. What is clear is that these guys are very strong, and you'd better be pretty sure of yourself if you plan to do something before they notice you. I just, I'm ready for a fight, man. Vampires are some of the earliest enemies you fight in Kingdom of Loathing. Vampire Mesmer, a brutish vampire, and another brutish vampire. They honestly don't have that much health at all. Uh, oh, but they probably do heal themselves when they bite, don't they? Yep, that's absolutely part of it, so you gotta be like a little bit careful with that. These stench vampires, no, not stench, I'm, I read stench there and vampire. I already read everyone's thing, and that's not at all what they were. Oh, whoa. For a second there, like, it made it look like Molly was just gonna get ruined. You won! You collect a fair payment from each vampire for beating up the other one on their behalf. You're very welcome. Vampire skull cap. Some vampires have intimidating widow's peaks, but the ones who don't wear these hats that make it look like they have one. A cosmetic wine. A vampire's metabolism won't process real wine, but vampires still want to look like cool wine people. And a bloodle. It's a piping hot strudel filled with blood instead of, I, I don't know, raspberries or whatever strudels normally have in them. Increase HP by 5 and makes you immune to bleeding. That's pretty damn good. And finally, for crying out loud, this episode's gonna run long just from having to deal with that. Moxie, extra experience, bam. The extra experience is nice, I'll be glad to have it. Whew. All of that, literally so I can crawl in this hole to do another thing, a whole other thing. You squeeze into the burrow and wriggle your way through a series of nasty trash tubes. Eventually, the garbage beneath you collapses, depositing, depositing you above a different chamber. Wait, above it? What the hell? Am I back in this room? What is what happened? I don't want to be back there. Why am I back there? What if I go back and crawl and do it again? Is there just like a weird infinite loop happening here? <laughs> is it gonna go what why? All of that for nothing to go to a room I've been to anyways? This labyrinth. It's confusing not because it's expansive and out of control, but because why? Why for any of that is what I, I'm asking ya. We got our compass, 
It's not getting resolved in this episode. You see a familiar looking person heading towards you. Another time man. Oh, I greeted him. Whatever. Oh, hi. Are you a clone? Or is this a time paradox? Or what? Turns out it's a time paradox, I guess. Wow, crazy. I agree. High five. The two of you, literally speaking, exchange a friendly high five. I... <laughs> The two of you, I, yeah, literally, I get it. I could have just done that to get my experience. Wish him luck. A kiss of goodbye was an option. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Good luck. Yeah, me too. Huh? Oh, uh, I'll have to remember that one. You did. <laughs> sure did. All right. That was ridiculous. I will we'll be done with this compass suit enough, but it's not happening this time. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Please pitch me some episode titles. Enjoy the extra long episode, and I hope to see you again soon.